guys welcome back to my channel and today is a big day for all of us castle clashers because the update has just been released and there is a lot there are a lot of new options here you see a tab challenge 1 a up to J and coming soon challenge 2 and as you can see over here it's actually K up to T so a lot more HBM entries so that's really awesome I was thinking about this if they have if it goes all the way up to T then the rewards must be growing insane as well so I'm wondering at T if you can actually make T5 if you get such an insane experience reward it must be in the millions then maybe soon even our hero levels will be raised from 180 to 200 or maybe even higher I really hope so because it would not make sense making that much experience and not having any use for it at that point nothing changed here let's just take a look at some other things alright the hero altar as you can see there's another tab right now crests and it looks the same as the one from expedition and yeah you can actually lay in crests and you can lay those crests in there when it inscription has reached level 21 I have not been well I have been in the new world just to take a look but I have not done anything yet so it's weird that I have 100 blue crystals but what, what the hell I'm just going to use inscribe there you go level 1 just going to keep it like this for now Alright, this way, if you have, for example, 4 level 1 crests, you can put them in here and combine them to a level 2 crest. Or if you have level 4 level 2s, then you can combine them to level 3 and so forth. Alright, when you go to a hero, there's also another tab, combine, so you can also do it that way but yeah I got no crests because I haven't done anything in the new world yet let's take a look at the warehouse the layout has totally changed look at this and the first time you enter the new world you don't have to do anything for it you get an achievement and you get 10 bronze keys Let's see, what was it? And you also start with one out of three of this. You can also go to trade merits over here. You can go to crests, but I have no crests, so you don't see any. Let's just go to the new world and see what's up. Lost Realm Alright, form team Now I know from other videos That my heroes always start in the southeast And the enemies always start in the northwest So I gotta take advantage of that So I'm placing a tank in front, druid behind, Motanke behind it, 
cupid and threw it. Yeah, seems nice. Alright. I think that's a bronze key. Alright, so I'm level 1. And as you can see, it takes one energy to move. Let's just open it up. Alright, crest bag. I just got my first crest. And another chest appears. Let's just go for this monster. So we can see the battle system. Attack. It costs 6 energy to attack. And when you run out of energy, you can't move anymore. Then you actually have to wait until the energy is replenished. And it replenishes with one energy every 10 minutes. Right, I got a Bronski and red crystals. Level 2, area expanded, great. Ah, sweet. Alright, now you see blue gems. And you can collect them, but you can also level them up. And that's what I'm going to do. Because that way they produce more. And they can store more. There we go. Right, so this seems pretty easy. They're all low level, those enemies. Well, they are now. So, right, getting red gems again. And my guess is that I can use those. No, I cannot use those to upgrade them. It's level 2. Maybe I should go collect. That didn't actually give me much, but oh well. Let's open the chest. A gold bag. Well, I pretty much have anything but the gold bag because I can farm gold. Another crest bag, yeah. And now I see a silver chest and I do not have any silver keys I think. So let's take a look. It has a chain around it. Yeah, there we go. You don't have the key. You don't have the key. Let's just kill that druid. Two shamans and a druid. Alright. Great. Mana pack. Well, that's not so great, but. At least I got another key. Alright, level 3, area expanded once more. 9 squares now, great. So I'm going to level this up as well. And now I can actually upgrade it to level 3, but I need 90 red gems. And where are the enemies? I don't see any enemies.
and I do not have a silver key. Oh, ha, ah, stupid. I was standing on the enemy. <coughs> ah, bloody cold. Whoosh. Just gotta love that Montanica skill. Right, some more crystals, not a mana pack. Oh, I'm not happy about that mana pack at all. Alright, level 80 heroes. This seems a solid setup. I'm just going to keep it this way for now. Damn, would you cut it out with the mana packs already? Give me something useful. Level 65 heroes again? What? That's weird. Gold packs. Ah, come on. Get it out with the gold and the mana packs, please. Alright, 93. So I can throw one up to level 3 right now. There we go. I'm not going to say anything about those golden mana packs anymore, it is what it is. Don't cry over spoiled milk they say. It's all about the crystals I guess. And I'm just going to keep going like this until I run out of energy. Three of those ninja bastards. Their pro can be really dangerous. Hey, all right, now that's what I like to see. A crest bag and 19 red gems. Sweet. Almost level 4. So I'm almost out of mana, uh, out of energy I mean. But there is a plus next to that energy button. And that way you can actually get more energy. But I don't know if it costs gems or what not. So let's just take a look. Now you see that because I only have two energy that those blocks over here, because they're out of my range, I don't have enough energy to go there, they are darkened. And I really want to go to that enemy, so now I have to wait 5 minutes and 40 seconds to gain one energy. 
You can use 50 gems to get 80 stamina, remaining chances 3. I got a gem so I'm just gonna go for it, why not? I'm making a video. Yep, let's go. They're not really making it hard so far. Right, bronze key. Level 4, alright. Area expanded and I see the war altar. I really hope I get it as well. Yeah, there it is, the war altar. Battle altar actually. Let's take a look. Occupy. My name, occupied for... level one it produces large amounts of blue crystals for the one occupying it and will be under protection for four hours after it is successfully occupied so as you can see it has 4,000 storage and you just see the blue crystals being added as we speak And just gotta keep track of it a bit of time of which it is occupied. And you gotta make sure you actually get the crystals before it reaches the 4000 to get maximum profit. So I can go to it now, but it's a waste of energy, really, because if I collect now, I only get eight of those blue crystals so I'm just going to kick some more enemies ass and then upgrade the other blue crystal mine damn I really really like this system so far and I haven't even looked at crests yet Hey! Oh, no. I thought it was something special because of the blue circle around it, but it disappeared. It was just a spawning effect, I guess. Another bronze key. So I'm almost halfway my energy again. It's 25 right now. Let's take a look. And those only have 13 and 11. So yeah, it's all about the battle altar.
I really hope to get a silver key soon. So I can open a chest. Well, at least I'm not only getting those mana and gold packs. Level this one up as well. One hundred sixty-four next. So my guess is to take best use of this, of the new world, you really gotta think of the way you walk, the way you use your energy, because it is not unlimited and at staggering one energy per 10 minutes, it takes a while to go again. Alright. Alright, so the second time you try using the plus to get more energy, it costs 100 gems. And I don't have 100 gems. Would you like to buy more? Yes, I would, but I don't have money growing on my back, so... This is it for now. Oh, look, another achievement. Reach level 3 in the last round to get 100 red crystals. Oh, there we go. Reach level 4 in the last round to get 1 level 1 flame guard. Crest 1. Flame guard? What? Flame guard? Who almost reached another 100 crystals. The last realm. Gotta love it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah. I don't have the movement speed. But I actually have the red gems to level those up. But I'm going to keep it for now. I'm just going to take a look at the crests. Alright. So this is one crest, the one I got from the achievement, flame guard, and it is type 1 so it can only go in the first slot and is level 1. And if I got it in one of the crest slots on a hero, which you can do when the inscription is level 21, then it also gets plus 7 attack and plus 1100 health all right so i also got gold packs and mana packs i'm just going to keep those oh you can actually sell them for hp well, at least that's something let's just take a look at those crests Dawn skin. Come on, give me something better. Another flame guard. Well, it is a type 4, so that means if I want the flame guard talent on a hero, I only need the type 2 and the type 3 flame guard crest to be able to complete the set and get the flame guard talent. But it is a crap talent, so. No, thank you. No, that's that's a bit better. Tenacity. I mean, with Oryx Bane, the new hero, it has 26% more health than Montanica has. If you have 5 Tenacity on him, 
that's just insane. Alright, so there those crests are. I got four of them. Alright, so the type 1 gives 7 attack 1100 health. This one gives 28 attack 900 health. It's weird. It seems random how much attack and health you get. Yeah, kind of random. Oh well. You can also click combine. Say, if I would have four level one crests, then I could actually combine them to level two. So that's pretty nice as well. Let's just take a look at my heroes. Bumknook. Inscribe. There's the attack and health going up. I'm just gonna keep going. Alright, now I like the crystals. And I also like the energy. So, there really is no choice. I gotta wait it out. Or buy more gems to buy more energy. But I'm not going to do that. Well, thanks for watching. And I wish you guys... The best of luck in this new update and a lot of fun. Alright, see you guys later. Take care. Bye bye.